what's up guys welcome back this is a boy again i'm slink and uh welcome back to another video please try as much as possible as usual guys to so support your boy like this video comment share it on the platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam slink and make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload well guys uh, let's start this video with uh a video that was recently shown online it shows french president slapped while on official trip well it's laughable though but the question is now is just imagine that person was worried somebody slapped like that what do you think we happen to that person what do you think we happen to the person who we boldly slap our home president Mohamed Buhari just the way this guy slap a French president. Well, uh, Dele Momodo said, someone slapped the French president, Emmanuel Macron. If you try it with Bouabé de Boire, in fact, you will die. Resurrate, die. Multiple times. Then, a show already said, President Macron giving a hot slap. If France was Nigeria, the entire South France would be burnt down by the Nigerian army. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> uh, but the guys slap and like small begin to. You saw say, hey, hello, hello, come here. Well, I give a tear that get correct slap, but it's not that hot though, because the guy wasn't well. The guy wasn't giving the opportunity to actually give him a dirty slap. Well, uh, don't try that oh, with our president oh. or let that. If somebody wants to exper experiment it, try it now. Let us see what we happen to you. Huh? Just try it with our president and uh, let's see what we actually happen to you. Yeah? But the fact is that you can never get close to our president. You can't. You can't even get close to him. He doesn't do this kind of public uh, show off like this. No, you can't get close to him at all. And uh, meanwhile, do you think this is uh, a really big trouble? Because Donald Trump just supported Buari regime on banding Twitter. You know, Donald Trump and Twitter are not fibers. They are like parallel lines that we never ever meet. All social media network in uh, USA, Donald Trump don't, do not like them. Well, guys, he released a public statement. He wrote, Congratulations to the country of Nigeria who just banned Twitter because they banned their president. More countries should ban Twitter, Facebook for not allowing free and open speech. Hard work should be hard. In the meantime, competitors will emerge and take hold. Who are they to dictate good and evil if they themselves are evil? P.S. I should have done it while I was president. But Mark kept calling me and coming to the White House for dinner telling me how great I was. 2024. You know, uh, Facebook just recently banned uh, uh, Donald Trump Facebook account for two years. They deactivated the account for two years. Just imagine, guys. The whole U.S. president who deactivated his account for good two years. And meanwhile, also guys, check out this very <laughs> laughable video of uh, female youth coppers showing how to defend themselves. <laughs> it's crazy man that's fun though but see child my eight in real life eh? the best defense that i'm going to advise anybody to do see carry pepper spray pepper spray or little jack knife i know it's not uh, uh appropriate for for me to be advising people to carry jack knife but in case in this era where we have a lot of abuse so this out there please Carry your small jackknife. Eh? Put it somewhere you can easily reach out to. Eh? So that's my own advice. But if you are good with karate 
and uh, combat so why not it's, it's, it's also really really favorable but uh, all those family they they do a fizzy them see <laughs> Where the time come, eh? I, don't, I don't think they can actually perform whatever they are performing now. Well, it's quite good though that they are actually teaching them skills to defend themselves. And uh, meanwhile, House of Rep, Somo Lai Muhammad, over Twitter banned. House of Rep, Somo Lai Muhammad, over Twitter banned. And uh, why is House of Rep people so many them? Honestly, you and I know it's just a cover up. Buari has banded it. So do you think anybody will come on bandit in this country? Man, all those things is just a fizzy. And uh, also, uh, the PDP who were fighting against this band, the Twitter band, well, the House of Rep ruled against request to demand overturn of Twitter band. So the House of Rep is sticking with the president of uh, with the president decision to state banned twitter so and be why there's this unconfirmed news they say breaking news pdp national assembly members have all decided to open twitter account to challenge the failed apc government do you think that is possible well it's unconfirmed though it's unconfirmed but do you think that is possible for pdp to say the most, they will, uh, they will, they will not mind what President Mohamed Bari is saying. They're just gonna open Twitter and continue using Twitter in this country, Nigeria. Country Nigeria, come on, man. And meanwhile, the uh, Minister of Justice, Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, has fi finally deactivated his Twitter. So my Twitter account deactivated. He posted it. So what is the next thing now? If his Twitter account is deactivated, that's to tell you that the heat is coming. And don't forget, Lai Muhammad assured us that they're going to prosecute people like Adeboye, Oyedepo, and all those prominent people who keep using Twitter. And they have openly issued a public statement saying that, see, even if they are using Twitter, they are not using Twitter in Nigeria. They have offices all around the world who can tweet from their account. So let's see what exactly what we happen. And uh, this said, an uh, essay woman gives birth to 10 children on the same day, set new world record. 37 years old mother of twins has birthed 10 babies and broken the Guinness world record in the most children born at the same birth. Tamara welcomed her 10 babies on Monday, June 7 at the hospital in Victoria. She was expecting to give birth to uh, octopus, but during delivery, two more babies were found. Her husband said her pregnancy was completely natural, adding they were happy to welcome their babies. The couples are parents to twins aged six years and they will now have 12 babies. The babies born were seven boys and three girls. Yeah, in a world where boys are scarce, it's good. Uh, they gave birth to seven boys by three girls. That's actually really, really nice. So I hope the government will automatically take up the responsibilities of these babies and uh, try as much as possible to provide their basic need now and also in the future. But uh, like I've said before, this is not the kind of blessing that anybody will want in Nigeria. I repeat, this is, kind of, this is not the kind of blessing anybody will want in Nigeria. But if it's another country, good and fine, I think that we actually do the needful thing. With me, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Gadam Slink. And uh, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.